What is going on YouTube? Crisis Predator here. I'm coming to you today with a tutorial on how to get started on Steam.com. Now if you're not familiar with Steam, Steam is a client that allows you to purchase or play free-to-play games um, through their actual Steam client. To get started, you need to go to store.steampowered.com. Now, whenever you go there, it's going to bring you up to a site that's very similar to this. And they're going to require you to install their actual Steam client. So, click on Install Steam Client now. And it's going to come up and it's going to start downloading here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to wait until this entire thing is done downloading. And whenever you see that it's done, you're going to double click to open it. Setup is done. Click Opening Steam. It's going to prompt you here if you want to open it or not. Simply click Yes. Now, this window is going to come up and it's going to say Welcome to Steam Setup. Next, agree to the terms and conditions. Next, Select your language, mine's English. Next, and then you can either select a folder to download the Steam Client to, or you can just simply keep it as the default folder. I always keep everything that I install to default, but that's just how I am. Um, if you have a particular place that you want it to install to, then be my guest. Um, I am not going to install because I already have the client installed on my computer. Now, whenever it comes up with the Steam client, it's going to prompt you to join the community in Steam. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to try to explain to you guys a little bit about joining Steam. So click on the Join Steam. You're going to have to create a Steam account, a password, and an email address. Make sure that your email address is valid because you are going to have to verify that email address. Now once you create everything here and everything's the way that you want it then you're going to agree to the terms and conditions and you're going to go ahead and create your account. So after you get everything created then this is going to pop up. Steam account, Steam password. This is what you're going to log into every single time. So I am going to move this off screen. I'm going to go ahead and log into my Steam account. And I'm going to show you guys um, a little bit about what, how to navigate through Steam, I guess. Not really what it is, but how to navigate through. Okay, so I should be logged in now. Refresh the page. And close. Am I logged in? Come on, log me in, log me in. Oh, I know what it is. I'm not logged in because I'm not logged into the actual page. This is actually it's gonna bring up a Steam client. So here's the Steam client here. It looks ex exactly like the page pretty much but it's going to open up the client at the bottom. So this is where you're going to get all your games. I do apologize. Um, I was actually looking into the site. So here's how you look for a game. So you want to do a free to play game. Say that you're kind of tight on your budget and you really don't have money to spend on a game. So free to play games and then you just simply scroll down. And if you see right here on the right, you're going to see all these free-to-play games. Every single one of these that you see is going to be free-to-play. So let's say I'm looking at, um, say, Shop Heroes. Okay, I want, I want to download Shop Heroes. So you simply click the game. Shop Heroes is going to come up. It's going to give you a small video kind of introducing you to the game. Down below, you're going to have a, a bit of a description on um, what the game's about, what it features, and then the system requirements. Okay? So, looks good. Everything looks awesome. I like the game. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to simply click free to play. Now whenever I click free to play, it's going to come up and it's going to say, do I want to create a desktop shortcut, startup menu, and then it's going to tell me the requirements for this. Now I don't particularly want this game, so I'm not going to install this game. But if you were to install this game, you would simply click next and then follow the prompts to download it. It's very easy, it's very minimal in the steps, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, once you get this game downloaded, it's going to be in your games file. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here, and you're going to see games, view, steam, and help. Simply hit games, and view games library, right here. Now, your library isn't going to be as extensive as this. You're going to have one game and that's it. Um, I have all these games that I've either purchased from Steam or for free to play games. Now any games that you get on here they're going to be here and you can either choose to uninstall them or you can choose to keep them installed. Some of the games that I don't play as often as I used to, I've uninstalled. And then the other games that I've either recently got or have recently started playing again, I've went ahead and reinstalled these games. These are going to stay on the client forever. You know, um, it, three years down the road, if you want to start playing, say, Daisy again, and it's uninstalled, you simply reinstall it and go from there. But that is basically the Steam tutorial on how to get a free game on Steam, how to create a Steam account, and how to download the client. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Um, if you want more tutorials or other how-tos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be putting out some more content here pretty soon. Um, as always, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate everyone out there. And Crisis Predator, I'm out.